How does restoration agriculture benefit pollinators? How does, this, how does restoration agriculture benefit pollinators? Well, for one thing, uh, a restoration agriculture farm uh, being heavily weighted toward the perennials, uh, it ends up becoming wild pollinator habitat. Uh, I get a lot of questions about pollinators and do we keep honeybees, and yes, I do keep honeybees. However, they're not, they're not important for pollination. Uh, one thing that not a lot of people uh, realize is that the honeybee isn't even native to this hemisphere. Uh, and so if there weren't any honeybees here, how did plants get pollinated before the honeybees showed up? There are hosts and hosts of different wild pollinators that are out there uh, in the landscape. And they're, they're the ones that do all the pollination work here on the farm. You know, we're standing by an apple tree in bloom. And in the 15 or so minutes that we've been here, <clears throat> this tree is abuzz with bees. I've seen one honeybee. They're in the minority. So this whole entire farm is providing regular food for, for wild pollinators from all these different uh, wildflowers on the ground, violets and spring beauty and dandelions. All through the season there are flowers in a restoration ag system and flowers on the trees. Uh, so instead of having to construct a habitat island for pollinators on your farm, the farm is a habitat island for pollinators.